Alright guys, we're moving along in the water temple. Last time we had just defeated all the enemies in this room. And then that opened the gate at the opposite side, so you can float up here now. I'm gonna find another key. And then right here I'm just gonna dive down. That way I don't have to change to my iron boots. Okay, now you can exit out this door. It'll lock behind you, but it's okay because you don't need to go back. And then be careful over here, avoid these spikes. Okay, so in this room there's a big treasure chest that's covered in water, and you'll have to hit that crystal switch over there, and then that'll temporarily um, remove the water so that way you can open the chest. But the switch it's only stays activated for just like a second or two, so I recommend that you use your fairy bow, so that way you can stand right next to the chest and then get to it right away. And then right here, um, we actually need to head back to the first floor. Because I want to do this before I forget. Yeah, accidentally took the long way here. But, <laughs> but basically this is the place where we met Princess Rudo. And if you remember, when we were floating up to the surface a couple videos ago, I told you to keep in mind that there was a... Yeah, you could see a fake wall. And then we can reach this room now that the water's at its mid-level. If you've ever played the water tumble before and had just been missing a key, this was probably the one. I know it's the one I always used to miss. Because once you're exploring the temple at the middle level, you don't really think to come back here. that room will go to later. And then, yes, we're done here for now. Before you do anything else in this room, walk over here and then walk back. Because there's a blue tech tight that'll fall down on you. You need to get rid of it first thing. <laughs> So whenever you activate the switch, you need to be standing on top, directly on top of the water. I'm just going to use the bomb. And then this way you'll be taken up to the next floor. And 
And this is the third and final place where you can change the water level. So this will make it go to its highest level, which is how it was when we entered the temple. Okay, once you sink down here, you'll notice um, one of those crescent blocks, and then push it back as far as it'll go. And that's kind of random, but you'll see why later. Okay, this room is an interesting one. It's not that hard, but it can be a bit of a challenge if you're playing on a computer like I am. There's several hookshot targets in this temple, and it is pretty difficult when you're on a computer. But basically, what you have to do is just keep hookshotting onto these platforms until eventually you reach the top of the room. And then you'll notice that the platform that you're standing on moves up and down. So yeah, just try to move as quick as you can. And keep making your way up. Okay, I think this room's kind of a pain. It's kind of tedious. First thing I want to do is hit the switch in the center of the room. This will raise the water level. And I recommend that you take tights because they'll just get in your way. And with the water level raised, you can now hook shot over to this pillar over here. So basically what you're doing is just raising and lowering the water level in order to reveal the hookshot targets that you need. And then try really hard not to fall into the water, because if you do you'll pretty much have to start all over again. And then what you'll need to do is use your iron boots to sink down to the bottom and hit that um, hookshot target in the middle. And then you'll have to go all the way back to that first platform, which can be really frustrating if you're already almost there. have to hit the switch one last time. And we made it. It's 
surprised that hero is not hitting it. Um, got out of time, but next time we'll continue the water temple and we'll fight a mini boss. So until then, see you later.